there, everybody. <laughs> it's Dominic here from Famous First Times. <laughs> I'm here. Ian. Yeah, Thanks. Ian's here as well. All the gang together <laughs> to give you a podcast about crazy, sexy shagging stories. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> here we go with some crazy stories. Well, today, I'll just tell you, we're doing Tom Jones. Yeah. Big Welsh man, Tom Jones. I know him. Speaking of bigness. Yeah. How tall do you reckon Tom Jones is? Seven... No, six foot two. Right, it's not a fucking quiz. It's a normal right, height. Think, think six a, foot two. Well, you think he's a tall man, don't you? He's, I think he's, he's six two. He's fucking five nine. What? He's like, I could maybe take Tom Jones in a fight. I might be able to. Fucking batter Tom Jones. <laughs> you know, I tell him he's a big coal miner fucker, man. Yeah. And he's not, he's bang average. Yeah, he's got a big vibe, yeah. Never really thought about his bigness that much. <laughs> In height terms and size terms, hmm. never really thought whether I could take him or not. <laughs> anyway, these stories are his early shagging stuff. Oh, I from his book Over the Top and Back. Oh yeah, it came out in two thousand fifteen. Yeah, and in this book, he's whitewashed it a bit. It's really sanitised because he's notorious as like a, a ladies' man, a womanizer. Yeah, don't go, don't mention any of these affairs he's had. Never. All right. Never. But I've got some good shit. Good good sex dick shit. Let's go right back in time. <laughs> right back was, to the beginning. <laughs> when he was a young child. And he was bedridden for two years. Got super ill. Got, like, like Ringo? Bed, bedridden. Yeah. Was it fucking mad common back in the day? <laughs> yeah, just like <laughs> spending like a year in hospital like doing <laughs> fucking nothing. And the second year of being bedridden, puberty arrived. <laughs> which didn't make things any easier. I was starting to notice... Things developing in that area and wondered what it was all about. Because nobody really talked about this stuff back then or warned you what to expect. And I was shut away in any case. The first time I took the situation in hand, I wasn't <laughs> ready for the consequences. I thought I'd broken something. I resolved there and then never to touch it again. Or certainly not until the following day. <laughs> yeah, classic Tom having a wank in bed, gutted, upset about it, carried on straight away. Yeah. I mean, if he was fucking bedridden, he wouldn't have had a lot to do. Fucking bored out of his mind. <laughs> Got to have a go at that. If so got... he's in bed for a year, just gutted on his own, and then puberty kicked in. But he can't see anyone, he can't. What's he wanking over? Only person coming in is his mum and his fucking gran. What's he doing? What's he doing? He, he, must, he must have their faces in his head when he's doing it. It's oh. the only explanation. Oh, no. Can't imagine, like, anyone else coming. Because <laughs> he's not seen him. Hey, I couldn't help it, mum. <laughs> you were the only face in my mind for a whole year. There's no internet, mum. I don't know what else to do. I have to talk, wank over you and then talk at you about it. <laughs> Dave, Tom Jones, wanking over his mum. Wait, 1956. Well, this is his first and only ever girlfriend, Linda. Okay, Fucking only married her. ever girlfriend. Yeah, married her. And wow. stuck with her till she died five years ago. All right. Yeah. So this is him. He's trying to, he's trying to fucking pull her. He's on the pull here. He's about 14, 15 here. All right. I am persistent about planting myself where she can see me. Unfortunately, she seems to be as keen on me as I am on her. <laughs> I'm not sure how pleased about it Linda's father is, though her father, who is, I have learned, now at home, unable to work, battling TB. Apparently, when I whistle for her outside her house, he'll say, that bloody whistling crow is out there again. <laughs> Whistling outside her house. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? That's fucking ancient time shit, that, isn't it? That's so... Why not just shout up? Why is he not shouting or something? Because he... Because the dad had... Yeah, he's got to pretend he's a bird. Like a Shakespearean da- kind of... Yeah. But the dad's not thick. He fucking knows. Well, he knows the difference between Tom Jones's crow whistle and uh, a real crow. If it was a real crow, the dad's not going to be going... 
Oh, that bloody whistling crow that's like, is <laughs> Fucking give a shit. You think he knows it's Tom? Yeah, definitely. He's not just, oh, that crow. <laughs> I'd wring its neck if I caught it. <laughs> anyway, this is his first shag here. First shag with Linda. She's the first girl I go with, and it doesn't feel anything other than right, because it's not just sex. It's love. Oh. <laughs> He does have oh, sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I have never had that feeling with anyone else. I shin up the drain pipe, climb in through the window, go downstairs and let Linda in through the kitchen. We spend the night in a single bed in the box room and then leave as carefully as we can. The following week, Mr. Rogers, the Sunday school teacher from next door, tells my mother that she swears she heard noises in the house while they were away. My mother says that's impossible and tells her she must have imagined it. I'm young and passionately in love and completely sold on a girl who is young and passionately in love with me. <laughs> and life couldn't really be very much less complicated. She is 15 and I am 16 when one day she tells me she's pregnant. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. Instantly pregnant because fucking man. He's a proper man. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so he married her. Yeah, a few months later, when she was pregnant. Married. Got to make an honest woman of her. That's and then life. fuck everyone else <laughs> in the world. In the world. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to do the right thing. <laughs> and then fuck everyone else. <laughs> What's the pussycat? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Related to her getting pregnant, talks about sex education and his lack of. No sex education lessons in school in those days. You figured it out for yourself or you didn't. My understanding was that if you took it out, there was a good chance the girl wouldn't become pregnant. What I didn't realise was that you shouldn't put it back in again. So that's where we come unstuck, as it were. <laughs> that's exactly how he would have said it as well. So is he saying that you take it out and you jizz elsewhere... But he, is he saying that his, his dick was covered in jizz and then he stuck it back in? Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, so he like did the rhythm method. Yep, took okay. out. And then just put his jizz-soaked dick back in her. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I thought when he said took it out, I thought, like, he took it out. Oh, he took, he scooped it out. He scooped the jizz out with his ass. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is scoop it out. Oh, well, oh, I feel Slop it on the carpet. <laughs> Why, what did you mean? Did you no, mean? I meant like he took his dick out of his pants. Oh, right. But that... like, I don't think that's what he means. I think he does mean like rhythm method kind of take it out before you jizz. Yeah. But then he's stuck it back in. It's all it can mean, isn't it? He's, 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 yeah. He's bellend, he's covered in cum. <laughs> and then he's just putting it back in just to, for, for comfort. This is what you subscribe <laughs> This for, is what you're getting. Dirty. Fucking triple X rated. <laughs> Too blue for Podbean. <laughs> so that's where we came unstuck. Just having a joke about sticky jizz. <laughs> so you see, jizz is sticky, but the situation is sticky too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, he's quite famous at this point, late 60s. And again, like I said, he doesn't talk about his actual shags, his affairs and stuff, but he gives little hints, and this is one of the little hints. He's in a mini car crash, he goes back to Wales, crashing this Rolls Royce he's driving. And here's where the story begins. I wake in the morning with a headache, which only too cleverly combines the effects of a night in the Cromwellian and a car crash. I open my wincing eyes to the sight of my mother, up from Wales, and stay in with Linda and me in an in unfortunate coincidence. <laughs> she is unsparing, running around with girls, drinking it up, getting carried away with yourself, you need to get yourself in order. The gist is, who do you think you are? Tom Jones. <laughs> so yeah, little hint there, running around with girls. Never once mentions anything about women flirting with him up, up till up this till point. his mum bollocks him. Yeah, and gives it away. This, final one, it's another fucking zoo story. Oh, great. Yeah. I love being in a zoo and with these guys. Fucking, and it's a bit sexy as well, this one as well. It Come better on. be. <laughs> his manager, he lives in Surrey, and he decides to start building a zoo. Gets a zoo in his backyard. 
And then there was Louis the orangutan. Now, he was a horny fucker. Maybe orangutans are like that. I don't know, but they basically got four hands, pair of droopy eyes, slow. I thought, this is harmless. I'll be all right near the bars. But Louis grabbed my hand and he tried to put it on his cock. <laughs> I managed to free myself, but then his foot came out and pulled me up against the cage. So I had to wriggle out of that. And every time I shook off a hand, a foot would go get me. And every time I shook off the foot, it would be a hand. And all the time he's got a hard on. <laughs> Once I realised what he was all about, I never went close to him again. <laughs> What he was all about. <laughs> <laughs> what he was all about, like he was just after Tom's dick. Like he was a proper horny bastard. And I put one hand away and another band kept. You've got four hands all groping for me. <laughs> That's it. Fucking orangutan and a boner. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you again next time on Famous First Times. Thanks very much. <laughs>